Hi everyone, uh, Darren Carnell here. I hope you're all doing well. It's been a hectic few weeks, or few months. <laughs> I just want to give you all an update on what's going on. Um, well, I'll turn that music down for a start. Go away, music. Uh, for the last few weeks, uh, my wife's dad has been in hospital. He fell down a few flights of stairs in his house. A little flight of stairs and then a big flight of stairs. Um, and he's been in hospital for a few weeks and he was in intensive care for a while. He couldn't breathe. Um, it was a bit touch and go for a while. But the good news is he's doing fine now and he's recovering and they're talking about when they're going to release him now. So it's all good. Um, but for a while, we were basically living in the hospital pretty much all the time, anytime we were allowed in there because it was very serious. They didn't know, you know, it was a case of is his body going to recover? And it has and it's wonderful. But that meant that for the last two or three weeks, I've not been in my studio because we've been in the hospital the whole time. Now, at the same time as this happened, there's a bunch of things that all went wrong and all happened, which just led to me being incredibly stressed out. Um, kids put a huge firework in the front door and blew up the letterbox, which scared the hell out of us and meant that we had no letterbox until we bought a new one. Um, the Clint Eastwood statue, this has been a, it's a brilliant statue, but oh my God, do I need it to be gone now. I finished the Clint Eastwood statue that I was working on. You know, the big quarter scale thing. And people who are on my Patreon will know about it because they've been following the tutorials of it. And I think I'm up to video 41 or something. Or oh, 40, 41. And there's about 51 videos in total showing the entire process from start to finish. So it's a long process. I was working on it for much longer than I thought. Um, I wanted it to be a couple of weeks. It ended up being months, I think. But I spent ages working on it. I eventually got it finished. Um, glued the head on, glued the hands on, made it all, you know, uh, made the body go onto the legs with a, a metal pin, made the base. People who have seen my videos will know what, you know, the work that I put into it. I packed it up safely, sent it to the guy I can't remember where he lives. It's in Europe somewhere. Um, oh, hang on, I've got a box here. Denmark. <laughs> I've just saw the box that it came back in. Um, I sent it to him. I was all excited to see what he thought of it. And he got back to me and said, Darren, it's broke. And apparently the head had snapped off and part of the gun had broken and like the, the, the trigger on the, the hammer on the back of the gun had snapped off and it had just been damaged. So I was thinking, oh my God, I don't want to work on this again, but I don't want to leave the guy with a thing that he can't use. So I arranged for him to send it back to me. I got it back and he'd packed it up a different way because he wanted it to be packed a particular way that you know he thought was safer. And it got back to me and it was broke even more. Oh my God, I swear I was pulling my hair out. Um, the gun that goes in the holster, that goes onto the leg, part of the gun, more of the gun had broke. I think the, the trigger guard had broken into two separate pieces, and these are like little tiny pieces, but they'd broken off. Um, and one of the hands had completely snapped off. The, the resin peg that was going into the arm had just broken. So there was a load of um, bits that were broken, a load of bits where the paint had been scraped. So I had to do all that. So for the last few days, the last week maybe, when I've been getting some time back in my studio, because my wife's dad is doing better now, I've not been in the hospital as much, so I've been getting some time in the studio. So I've been working on that Clint Eastwood, again, making it better. And I've sort of tried to do away with all the things that were causing the problems, bits that broke in the post. Um, so what I've done is, instead of having things glued in the way the statue was designed, I've, and it took a long time, but I've cut away all parts. I've drilled in holes. I've installed magnets. So the, the hand has a magnet on the end of the hand and the arm has a magnet on the end of the arm. And you just take the hand and you go clunk and it holds in place with a magnet. But I've had to install magnets on all the bits. So the hand, the other hand, the head, I've put a big metal pin coming out of the head. So he just drops it in and gravity holds it in place which means the head can be packed separately. Um, the gun, 
I've now got the gun going into the holster, um, which clicks into the holster with magnets. Um, I made a, a special little block inside the holster that um, held the gun in the right place. So it just clicked in with magnets and was held in place. Um, the holster itself clicks onto the side of the leg with magnets. So I've done all of that and I've removed all of the bits where theoretically it could go wrong when I send it back because I will be sending it back because I need it to be out of my studio because I have lots of other work to do. <laughs> I'll show you quickly. There you go, because I'm, I'm still... I was waiting for some varnish to turn up. I'd run out of varnish. So I ordered some, got a couple of cans of varnish and I'm waiting to just fix the the bits that I repainted because a lot of it had to be repainted because it was damaged. So I've done all that. I've just got to re-varnish them. But I can show you quickly. So if I've got the body here. Oh my God, this thing is heavy. I can hold this up. So there's the body. There's one of the arms and I've put a magnet on the end there and I've done the same in there with the opposite magnet. So it should just go, if I can find it, there you go, clunk. That's in place with a magnet, nice and easy. So that means that that hand can be wrapped up nice and safe, protected by itself, not attached to anything and everything else the same. Um, so Clint is now finished. Again, and once I've varnished the pieces that needed reprotecting, um, Clint will be going because <laughs> I have a lot of stuff to do. Um, I keep looking down there because that's where all my work is. So now that Clint is done, and now that I've repaired the letterbox on our front door, and it, there's no more fireworks going off everywhere, and now that my wife's dad is getting better. Um, I'm back in my studio and I'm working again. So anyone who's waiting for commissions, <laughs> I'm on it. I promise I'm on it. It's just been a really, really insane few months. Um, Clint Eastwood took too long. The front door happened. We were in the hospital for weeks. Everything got in the way. I'm back at my desk now. Now, in addition to that, I wanted to do a video because I, I think I did a post about it a while back. The You can just about see it there. Uh, one of my Facebook followers um, made a wooden horse from the film Blade Runner 2049. And he hand carved it and it's actually made of wood. And he sent me one. And it's brilliant. And I was going to do a video about it and show it up in, in close up. And also I've, I get questions sometimes about some of the other collectibles that are behind me like my Knight Rider number plate or the uh, Tony Stark number plate or the banknote from the film Serenity. That's an actual screen used on the, was in the film banknote. Different things. Some, I, I just get random messages. What's that lightsaber behind you? And stuff like that. So I was going to do a video about the horse and I thought, well, I could do a video about different collectibles that are behind me. So I might do that. I might do a few videos. I don't know. It depends how long I talk for. Because <laughs> as we know, I can talk. Um, so I will do that in a separate video. It was going to be now. But I thought, you know what? Just explaining what's been happening for the last few months has taken up 10 minutes already, nearly. Um, so I will do the collectibles video separately at some other point. For the rest of today, excuse me. <coughs> Oh my goodness. For the rest of today, I will be painting. I've been doing lots of emails, uh, speaking to clients old and new. I've been dealing with my Patreon. And I'm now ready to paint again. So I will be getting on with painting for the rest of today and for the rest of the week and for the rest of the year. <laughs> and then next year. Um, but that is where I'm up to. I do need a haircut though. These sides need to be shorter. I know a lot of you are saying, you need to get rid of the beard. Well, not yet. Um, so that's it. That is the update. That's all I wanted to do. I wanted to let you know where we were up to. And now we're back to normal. So, right. I will let you go. Have a good day. Have a good weekend. Uh, Thursday now, so... 
<coughs> oh my goodness, I feel like I've got something in my throat now. That's not going to go away. Okay, I'm going before my throat gets worse. Have a good day, guys. Have a good weekend. Um, I know I've been quiet for a while now. First, I was quiet just because I was struggling to get Clint Eastwood finished so I could work on other things because that just took months longer than it should have done. And then I was quiet for the last few weeks because I've not been in my studio because of everything that happened. I am back and I'm painting and I'm sending things out. So I'll get on with it. Take care. See you soon and look after yourselves.